Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's Uncle Aaron again, and thanks for watching today's Bible Zoom video. Today, we're going to get started with our action memory verse, followed by the Bible story time, and then we'll finish with our Bible Zoom praise song. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. Our action memory verse is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 28. And it says, a person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Now this is reminding us that if we don't have self-control, if we don't learn to control our feelings and emotions, then we can end up destroying ourselves and hurting other people. Then it goes on to say that if we don't, we're like a city with broken down walls. Now, many years ago, they put large walls around the city to protect them, to keep bad people from coming in and to keep good things from being stolen out of the city. So boys and girls, it's so important that we have self-control so that we don't get ourselves into all kinds of trouble and we don't miss what God has planned for us. So now let's do it with the actions. Are you ready? Let's start from the beginning. You can repeat after me. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Did you get that? Let's do it one more time. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls, okay? So that's reminding us that we have to have self-control. We just can't react out of our emotions and our feelings. We have to stop and think, is this what God would want me to do? That's what we need to practice. Last week's video was called we are to repent of sin. Let's see what happens in this week's video. God told the prophet Jonah, go to the great city of Nineveh, tell them to stop doing evil things. But Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. The people of Nineveh were enemies of God's people. So Jonah got on a boat heading the other way. God sent a terrible storm. The sailors cast lots to figure out who caused this trouble. The lots fell on Jonah. The sailors asked Jonah, Who are you? What are you doing here? Jonah replied, I worship the one true God who made everything. Jonah told them to throw him into the sea. When they did, the storm stopped. From that moment on, the sailors worshiped the one true God. God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed and thanked God for sending the fish to save him. Then the fish vomited Jonah onto dry land. God told Jonah, go to Nineveh and preach my message. So Jonah went. He walked into the city shouting God's message, in 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed. The people turned from their evil ways. Even the king repented. God decided not to destroy Nineveh. Jonah was so mad. I knew it, he said. You are a gracious God. You show mercy to people. You are slow to anger. And you are loving. I knew you would decide not to destroy Nineveh. Is it right for you to be angry? God asked. Jonah made a shelter outside the city and waited to see what God would do. God taught Jonah a lesson. First, God provided a plant to shade Jonah from the sun. But the next day, God sent a worm. The worm attacked the plant, and the plant died. Then, God sent a dry east wind. Jonah was so hot, he almost fainted. God asked Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the plant? Yes, Jonah said, I'm so angry I could die. God said, you cared about the plant but you did not take care of it or make it grow. It only lasted one day. Nineveh is a big city with thousands of people. I created them and care about them. Aren't they and the animals in the city more important than a plant? 
God called Jonah to go to his enemies and call them to turn away from their sin. But Jonah refused. Instead, he ran away. Later, God sent Jesus to his enemies to call us to repentance. Jesus willingly obeyed. Jesus died on the cross to rescue us from sin. Wow, boys and girls, that's an amazing story. But it's not just a story. This really happens. So God loved the people of Nineveh, even though they were doing terrible things, and even though they were the enemies of Jonah's country, the people of Israel, God still loved them, and he wanted to warn them that if they didn't stop sinning and doing terrible things, he was going to judge them. That's a special punishment. He was going to punish them. But he's a fair and loving God, so God sent Jonah to be a special messenger to warn them. But Jonah, because he was probably a little scared of them because they were the enemies of Israel and also because he was kind of prejudiced, he was kind of mean towards these people because they were his enemy, he decided he didn't want to go. So God told him to go to Nineveh and he went in the complete opposite direction. And then we all saw what happened. That would have been scary. He was in a storm. He got swallowed by a giant fish. Can you imagine how gross and scary that would be? There would be like slime and all kinds of gross stuff all on you. But Jonah realized that he had done wrong and he prayed to God for forgiveness. And God heard his prayer and he caused the fish to vomit Jonah out onto the land. And then he went to the people of Nineveh. But the interesting thing is, the people of Nineveh heard the message and they repented, which means they turned away from their sin and turned towards God. And that's amazing. But at the end of it, we saw that Jonah wasn't even happy. He should have been. But because he still had this, these bad feelings in his heart, he was angry. And God had to show him that this demonstration with the plant that you care more about this plant than you do the people of Nineveh, who I love. So that's a good lesson for all of us. We have to stop and think. Maybe there's someone we don't like, but God made them and he loves them. So we should also love them as well. God sent Jonah to the people of Nineveh because he loved them. And many years later, God would send his son Jesus to die on the cross to forgive us our sins because he loves us. Boys and girls, you might ask this question. Am I supposed to care for the people that I don't like? Now that's a tough question and I think I know what you might mean. A lot of times there are people that we interact with either in our family or at school who aren't really nice and so we don't really like them a lot. We may not get along with them. Um, but the answer is that yes, we're supposed to care for them. Yes, we should love them because God made them. He made all of us. But I would say we should stop and think, why is it that I don't like this person? Now it might be because we're jealous. Maybe they have some things that we want or we wish we had, or they're really good at something that we wish we could do. And that might cause us to be jealous, but that's not a good thing to be. We shouldn't be jealous for somebody who has a gift that God has given them. And maybe there's been a situation where they were mean to us or something took place and that caused us to not like this person. But again, the bottom line is we need to understand that God made all people from all different countries and cultures and backgrounds and colors and all different ethnicities and races. God made them. And each person on the planet is a display of God's creative genius. That means God made every single person and he loves every person so much. So we should understand that. And when we don't like somebody, that hurts God. It doesn't just hurt the person, it hurts God because God is saying, wait a minute, I love you, but I also love this person and I don't want you to be mean to them. I don't want you to not like them. I want you to love them. Now, boys and girls, the truth is that there may be some people that we're just Maybe we were so different and there's been something that took place and we don't get along well with them, but we still can love them. Maybe we don't become their best friend, but we still can be kind to them. Maybe they've been mean to us. Maybe the issue is on their side, but we still can be kind to them and love them the way that God would want us to love them. So that's really important for us to know. 
And just like Jonah, we can't decide, well, those people, they're my enemies. I don't want them to know the good news. I don't want them to be rescued from God's judgment. My goodness, no, we should love every person and understand because they're precious to God, we should treat them with respect and care as well. So I'd like to close with this question. How can we show love to all people? Well, boys and girls, it's time for our Bible Zone praise song. So I want you to get up from wherever you are, get ready to sing and dance. We're going to have some fun. We're going to sing Strength and Shield today. And this song is reminding us that any strength that we have, any life that we have is because of God. He's the one who gives us life. So we should be grateful. We should thank him for the strength he gives us to get up and to do everything that we do every day. But he's also our shield. He protects us from so many things. Sometimes we don't even know what he's protected us from. So let's think about who God is, how good he is to us all the time, and how much he loves us as we sing this song, Strength and Shield. Alright boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that song. 
Now, before we close in our prayer, I want to remind you if you have any questions at all about anything you saw or heard today, or anything you might want to know about God or the Bible, I'd love to help answer those questions. So you can email me at the email address below, but make sure you get mom or dad's permission first. All right, let's pray to God. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for how good you are all the time. And I thank you that even though we can do bad things sometimes, you still love us and you're still patient and you still have mercy for us. Help us to understand that you do everything out of love. So God, I pray you would help us to follow you and trust in you through everything we go through. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember, all people are special because God made us all and he loves each and every one of us. I'll see you next week. Thank you.